What's up, Overlanders? In this video, I'm going to be creating, eh, adding to my rainfly. I know some of you may have already seen the rainfly video that I made. Uh, it's not perfect. I'm going to add walls to it and as well going to be um, extending it out further, which means I need new brackets um, that are going to cover the entrance better. So um, let's get started. I'm going to open it up and work on the brackets today. I've ordered the... Uh, fabric from Ripstop by The Roll, which is an awesome website if you're doing any kind of DIY, rain flies, tents, backpacks, anything. It's a great place to get some good Ripstop material. So anyway, let's get started. Now, if you guys know me at all, you know that I love Conduit and Unistrut. So here's the tent. Um, I, over here, over here I have some Conduit left over from other projects. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can get some of that to work with these bars that I already have set up for the rain fly. Um, so let's see what we can uh, see what we can figure out. I might have to cut the unistrut here so I can get this bar to line up better with the edge of the tent. But not sure yet. We'll see. Keep playing with it. I have these little shorties here. And I think what I'm going to do is hinge these right here so they can go up. And that's going to give me the height I need so that when I get in, I'll be covered. And then I'll put a bar across them somehow. So I'm going to take these off and the um, part that I uh, made for hooking the, uh, the bungees to. I'm just going to cut that and um, uh, see what I can figure out. I cut the ends off, cleaned them, up, cleaned them up real nice. I'm going to get ready to drill some holes so I can get the swing up on there. Um, but uh, before that, what I'm going to do is cut uh, this unistrut here that doubles as support for the tent, but also a, a stopper for these bars. So I'm going to do that a little bit at a time, just to make sure I can get this lined up straight with, uh, with the tent there. Make sure I don't take it too far. Try not to cut the tent. There it is, lined up just about perfect. So you can see, I just took a couple notches out here. Now I'll go uh, do the same thing on the other side. So I used some of these bins from the, uh, the old conduit that I had lying around and was able to connect this here. I'm gonna make this removable I'm gonna make this removable so it'll just slide out when I uh, go to put this all away. And then I've got my, my two shorties here prepped. And now I'm drilling holes and gonna make them uh, swing out and up off the side. It's coming along. So now, when I stand up here, 
we'll have a lot more clearance while we're getting into the tent and be covered from the rain. You can imagine what the new roof line is gonna be coming down this way to there rather than cutting us off so short. We'll have a lot more room when it's all done. Uh, fabric should be here in a couple days. We'll get to sewing and finish this thing up. And like I said, I'm getting this ready for the expo. Um, that's only just over a week away from when I, you know, when I leave. Um, and uh, it's not going to be the easiest breakdown, but it's going to work. So uh, let me show you what, uh, how this goes. There you have it, there's the frame for the new rain fly. It's gonna get put away a lot cleaner when it's all done, but um, for now, that's where we're at. We'll pick this up in a few days. Oh, and I'll probably end up coming up with a way um, to clip these removable pieces um, down here. Um, that way I don't have to store them inside the tent, but for now, they're going inside. As promised, it's been a few days and I'm getting ready to work on the rain fly again. The uh, new fabric has come in and what we're going to do now is add walls. It's going to come all the way down, strap underneath, and it's also going to come out and around this frame um, so that when we're standing underneath and we're getting in, we'll be all covered. So uh, hopefully I can get this done today, maybe tomorrow, do our best. It's gonna be cool. And I'm gonna show as much of the sewing as possible, but it's, you know, it's just sewing. If you know how to do it, you'll know what to do if you're doing this yourself. I can't teach that <laughs> on YouTube. So anyway, we'll get to work. All right, next morning you can see here, I have extended the rain fly, made it longer. And so you can get an idea of what it's going to be like standing under there now. Extra protection. And um, next thing, I'm going to start pinning up the wall to the top. So I know where to sew it. So the first thing I did with the wall fabric is um, I flat filled these, the end, the bottom, um, because instead of cutting it, I just wrapped all of this inside of itself. And it ends up being a stronger uh, edge too. So I'm gonna do that to the bottom of both pieces of fabric for the wall. And then all of this is the top, and that is what will be cut to size along with the roof line. So I'm starting from the bottom up, putting the Velcro on the bottom of the wall. That way I can I can latch up the bottle. I can. That way I can get the bottom fastened and be able to pull it tight up towards the top so I know where to attach the top. All right, the Velcro is all done. And this wall is gonna be extended from here over. So that's what's gonna happen next. Once that extension is done, then I'm gonna lift all of it up, pin it, and sew it together. I'll be honest, this is no easy task. Um, so the walls are all sewed um, together, lengthened to where that needs to be. Now all we need to do is get the wall up and pin it along the top edges and sew it together. 
pinning is all done. You can see all this excess will get cut off. And uh, while that pinning is all done, I'm gonna take it down, sew this side up, and then cut off all that excess, and then get started on the other side. It's coming along. So the first stitch is all done. Flat field's all done. Day three. It's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but, but it's done. So, let's go set this thing up. I think I have one more strap I might need to uh, sew onto it, but let's go test fit it, check if we need that extra strap, and then I will uh, seal it all for water. It's exciting. There you have it, rainfly is all done. Finally finished, took three days. Um, not the easiest thing. I've actually cleaned the rainfly up a little bit more than you see here, but this was good enough to get it ready for the expo. As always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.